Royale. Congressman Peter Welsh is a Democrat from Vermont and Chief Deputy Whip. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Republicans now say they have a plan to pay for extending the payroll tax holiday, but the White House just moments ago said it falls short of what the president wants. Do you think their proposal is a serious one? Uh, I don't. I think that uh, what's happened here is that their negotiating tactic in the past that has worked, that is not to negotiate, is now working against them. Because with the failure of the super committee, it means that if nothing is done, defense cuts go into place, and it also means that these Bush tax cuts all expire. So now they're up against a situation where the president has an affirmative tax reduction plan that would affect millions of Americans, uh, and the Republicans are against it, and they're coming back with what, frankly, is a pretty lame way of imposing the cost of the tax cut on the people who received the tax cut. It's remarkable. Just moments ago, our own Luke Russett asked House Speaker John Boehner what it would mean for the economy if Congress fails to extend the payroll tax holiday jobless benefits. And I have to say, we were stunned by the Speaker's response. Watch this. You know, I'm not an economist. I don't know what impact it's going to have uh, on the economy. It's just that uh, I do believe that there's enough common ground uh, between where the White House and Democrats are and where Republicans are uh, for us uh, to move this legislation and to do so quickly. Mr. Walsh, what's your reaction to the Speaker of the House having absolutely no idea what these critical votes will mean for millions of Americans and, let's be frank, a very fragile economy? Well, I think the Speaker has a good idea what this will mean. Oh, you think he's lying? <laughs> well, I, I'd use the fib word. But I think politically, you think he's he fibbing. Knows, you think he's think fibbing? He doesn't want to acknowledge that he's in a jam. I mean, bottom line, the Republican mantra is tax cut, tax cut, tax cut. But this is a situation where the president's got him boxed a bit because it's actually a tax cut for working Americans. And these guys are primarily uh, and successfully fighting for the tax cuts for the top 2%. Now, he also knows that if we take, if we don't have this tax cut, it's going to have an impact on the economy because conservative and Republican economists say it would take about 1% growth off of the already fragile growth rate of 2.5% in our GDP. So I think the I think the speaker knows, but just doesn't want to say because politically he's a little bit uh, in a jam. And briefly, if I can, and finally, Republicans say they'll pay for their proposal by freezing the pay of federal civilian workers, cutting the federal workforce by roughly 200,000. I mean, does that make any sense? It, well, it would make sense if they were consistent and they wanted the tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires to be paid for by taking away their t estate tax break or taking away their yachts or doing something where they paid for the benefit that uh, the Republican tax policy is giving them. Obviously, it makes no sense. If you, The point of the tax cut here is to make some uh, folks uh, have more purchasing power, be able to pay their bills. And if, on the one hand, you give them a tax break, but then you say, we're going to for it by lowering uh, your benefits, by uh, or even taking away your employment taking away your job or your raise yeah that's that's obviously uh, Co just a Con sophistry congressman peter welsh from vermont thanks so much for joining us thank you now to a farewell to arms with a major milestone the u.s withdrawal from iraq in the next